turn our attention to Harmony Gold, which has assets in South Africa and Papua New Guinea. So the Papua New Guinea asset, of course, is Hidden Valley, Wafi, Golpu. It's not currently in production awaiting permitting, but the local assets are like Kusasa Letu and the traditional Harmony Mines, where they're currently having some labor related but difficulties. But Wafi Golpu was a huge uh, play from Graham Briggs, right. the previous CEO. Correct, and it looked very attractive in 2012 when the gold price was like above $2,000 But 2012 being the operative time uh, horizon here because yes. we're now in 2017 it's a and bit this more has marginal. not delivered, it hasn't come to, no. to fruition. Market cap, 15 billion rand, PE of 7.2, dividend yield 2.9%. Share price graph will give us a sense of how this one is tracking. Peter Steenkamp is the CEO now and I mean operationally battling along. Um, when I say they've had labor issues, for some reason AMCU has put its hand up at those operations that had a couple of illegal work stoppages and that looks like a difficult scenario that's going to rumble on for a while. Joseph, what do you think? No, no, certainly I think I agree with you uh, in terms of uh, how they deal with the trade unions I think it's quite important because I think you don't want to be singled out and in particular in these difficult times. It's the smallest of, of, of them, um, you know, uh, the PE is attractive. Um, a seven percent, but I think from from a return perspective, they are the lowest. So so there are some still challenging uh, terms. They're operational and financial. There is a little bit of improvement, uh, but I think you know they need to be able to manage you know all these issues, in particular labour issues, because you saw the effect it had on loanmen in the past. Yeah, I mean loanmen being a case in point when it comes to labour issues. I stand corrected, issues. but I think the labour deal that the whole Chamber of Mines did was a multi-year transaction. So they agreed that there would be wage increases and then they would manage that. So in effect what's happening at the Harmony operations is a sort of out of deal disruption. I don't know though, in my experience when labour starts putting its hand, I was thinking we hadn't heard from Joseph Matunjwa for far too long. In other words, uh, when this sort of thing starts bubbling up, it's going to affect all of the others as well. Mm, where there's smoke, there's fire, and then mm. it just uh, gains momentum. And we know that the South African mining industry's relationship with government is not very good. It's a very difficult environment here. Although, you know, obviously everyone has an interest in continuing operation. A mm. very difficult environment, not just for these stocks, but mm. actually for everybody operating yeah. in South mm. Africa at the mm. moment had to get that in there not to be yeah. overly negative hot or not are we going to call this one on a harmony joseph i will not be hot you're on not this hot one. on this no. one so just I'll remind me it. you've been hot on sibanya and you've been hot on no, anglo gold ashanti no, oh, no, no, on gold fields yeah. yes. you own anglo gold ashanti yeah. exactly so i'm going to be not hot on harmony i think too much south african only exposure and i don't really think the png assets add much at the end of the day so, so you've been hot, hot on anglo gold ashanti and sibanya Correct, which are more global else. and which have got things going on and stand to benefit with their cost structures from a slightly different outlook.